Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in MC Eternal with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the uh, sandwich station, and it looks like I did not collect the rewards for that. Uh, so really, really quickly, we got ourselves 50 monies. We got a loot reward, which is a vampire cloak. That's kind of cool. I've actually found some vampire stuff in the world as I've been exploring. Uh, so that's actually kind of interesting. We'll have to take a look and see what that's all about later. And then a steel leaf helm, which is three armor uh, from the Twilight Forest. That is actually kind of cool. It unlocks a whole bunch of stuff that we're not going to get into right now uh but tell you what let's go and throw that on like that does look <laughs> it looks kind of cool i guess uh projectile projection protection three that is not, that's not too bad for a helmet i'm, I'm quite happy with that uh this episode uh we're gonna go start working with the uh, tinker's tools so uh we've already built ourselves a smelter <laughs> love how that goes down over one eye like that that just that looks Really, really cool. Uh, anyways, uh, we started with the smelter. Uh, we did the sandwich station so we can unlock the tool station, the tool forge, and the armor forge. Uh, this episode, we're going to focus on the tool station. That's going to allow us to craft uh, very, very simple, very, very basic tinker's tools. Uh, but they are really good at getting you started uh, in the world. So uh, before we do anything else, we are first going to need to make ourselves some blank patterns. Uh, to make a blank pattern, it is a two wood plus planks and two sticks in a crafting table that gets you four blank patterns we're going to need a bunch of these so i've made some already uh, if we take one of those blank patterns and any crafting table that will get us a tool station now tool station is very very important we're also going to need something called a stencil table uh, that is a blank pattern and any wood planks in a crafting table gets you a stencil table uh, if we take another blank pattern, put it in a crafting table with any wood log, that'll get us a part builder. And then last but not least, for this advancement, we are going to take a blank pattern and a chest, and that's going to get us a pattern chest. This is a place that we can store our patterns, uh, that we don't have to be carrying them around or putting them in chests or anything like that. So this is very, very handy uh, to have. So that is absolutely perfect. So the last thing that we're going to want to build uh, for this advancement, it's it's not part of the requirements to get it, but you are definitely going to want to have it if you're not familiar uh, with the Tinker's Tools. Uh, but that is going to be the Materials and You, the book Every Tinker's Needs by Skyla. Uh, this is going to be the guide to help you, uh, you know, figure out the, you know, simple Tinker's Tools. Uh, to make that, you're going to need a book and one of those blank patterns, and that gets you that uh, Materials and You. Now, this is the first book that we've made, other than our quest book and, you know, our skill book, which we got, uh, that we really, really kind of want to keep you know close at home now there's a second way of getting that a uh, book uh you know and it's actually probably an easier way to get you know most of the books in the game uh but if we were to craft ourselves uh something called a akashic akashic tome i am pronouncing that wrong i am absolutely sure of that uh basically it allows you to you know, for the price of a single stick that's all it takes uh, you can go, you can open it up and you can basically pick all of the different, you know, uh, manuals in the game. You can click on it and there you go. You've got it in your inventory. So rather than, oh, I'm actually wearing that vampire cloak. I don't know. Well, it's three armor. Uh, I, I wasn't exactly expecting to do that, but, um, Basically, you know, that's the easy way of getting, uh, you know, any manual that you need uh, in MC Eternal. So that is super, super helpful. But if we go and open this up, uh, we can kind of see all the different things that we are going to need uh, to making Tinker's Tools and, you know, things like that. So this is a invaluable reference if you're not familiar with the uh, Tinker's Tables. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and vein mine these guys up and then we're going to go start placing them down. So I didn't really plan out this room very, very well. I don't have a good spot for my Tinker's Tables, but let's start. We're going to put the uh, pattern chest in the corner because I don't really have to access it that often. 
Uh, then we're going to go put down the tool station. Let's put down the stencil table and the part builder. And then we're actually going to throw down a tinker's tables. Now, the really nice thing about the tinker's packs is I can access, you know, this one table and then I can flip between the different tables here and it just makes things super, super simple. So, you know, you see, we got the pattern chest all the way over there. We got our stencil table. Uh, we've got our part builder and our tool station. So, the tool station is probably the best place to start to try to plan out what you want to do. Uh, in here, we can make the basic tinkers tools. So we can make a, you know, pickaxe, a shovel, a, a hatchet, a mattock, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like a farming hoe, uh, but it's a little bit more than that. Uh, you can make a comma, which is a reaping tool, you know, so you harvest and replant crops, although we've already got uh, that, you know, mod in here as well. So I, I don't know how useful it is, but it is another tool that you've got your regular broadsword, your long sword and your rapier. Uh, you got a bow, you got arrows, then you got your frying pan, uh, and your, uh, battle side, which are really, really kind of cool weapons. I'm not going to get too deep into them, but, uh, they are all craftable here in this tool station. But before we can make any tool here, we're going to have to go make some patterns. So why don't we stick with a, uh, simple, uh, pickaxe. So we're going to need a tool rod, a pickaxe head and a binding. So we're going to go over to our stencil table. We're going to go and find the pickaxe head. We're going to just click on that. We're going to put the blank pattern in there. And there you go. We've got a pickaxe head pattern. Uh, we're going to need a simple binding or a binding pattern. We're going to go click on that. And then the last thing we needed was a tool rod pattern. So we're going to go and click on that. So those are the three patterns that we're going to need to make the three pieces that we're going to want to use for our uh, stencil table. So or for our uh, pickaxe. Uh, next, uh, we got to go over to the part builder. Uh, we're going to go and throw a pickaxe head in our uh, little stencil area. And then now we got to pick a material. Now we can use a wide range of materials. Um, but after a certain level, you're going to actually have to start casting them. We're not going to get into that this episode, but if we wanted say a, a stone pickaxe head, it's cheap, uh, but it, you will mine to iron level. It's got a durability on it. Uh, there's a whole science behind building, you know, a really, really good uh, pickaxe. But for the moment, we're going to go and make a stone pickaxe head. Uh, we only want one of them though. We're going to go to the tool rod next. And why don't we use, uh, we'll use some oak wood. That's going to get us an ecological uh, advancement on that. Basically, it's going to allow it to do a little bit of self-repair. So that's always handy to have. And for the binding pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, throw some flint in there. Now, this gives a crude modifier. Uh, we won't get into the modifiers too much this one here. This is just going to be a simple starter pickaxe. I'm just kind of demonstrating how this is go, uh, going to go. When we get into the more complicated stuff, then we'll spend a little bit more time talking about the different modifiers. But uh, there we go. There are our three parts. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to our tool station. Now, I could have swapped through the top here. I wasn't really thinking. Uh, very well there uh, but we're going to go and click on the pickaxe and you can't really see it my uh, name tags are kind of covering it but if we clicked on the maddock there that's how it kind of looks so we're just going to click on the pickaxe which is just right underneath where the o and l is uh, in my name and we're going to go take that flint binding we're going to take that uh, stone pickaxe head and then we're going to go take the wood uh, wooden tool rod that's going to get us a durability of 111 mining level of iron mining speed of three attack of four modifier three verse unarmored plus five i mean we're not making this as a weapon but that's something to keep in mind i think that is from the armor is for cowards that's from the uh, flint uh so there you go there is our first a uh, little stone pickaxe there's a little bit more that we can do to that so we can go back over to our uh just a little anvil symbol there again it's underneath my face uh uh it's basically this default uh pattern here uh on the uh, tool station uh but we're going to go and take that and we can upgrade it using a couple of things. If I had diamond, uh, I could, you know, add that on. Uh, it would, you know, give me a really, really good thing. But we could add some redstone. Uh, that's going to increase haste for a little bit. Uh, we'll take that. And then at the same time, I think we can still add some lapis, which is really, really good. Uh, it gives you a little bit of luck, which is, you know, really, really nice. So we're going to go and do that. And as I got one room for one more modifier, I don't really have anything handy. And again, this is just a simple 
multiple, uh, you know, pickaxe. I'm probably not going to use it for very long. I'm going to go and make a proper one, uh, using the uh, higher level stuff here, probably next episode. But, uh, you can see the, uh, it's got an XP value on it. So every time I use it, uh, we end up, you know, gaining some XP. So we'll go and grab that. Let's go grab. Well, look at that. I found some iron that I didn't know about. And there we go. So we go went and picked that up. That is really good. And we go and look at it. We've got six experience. So we've got an awful lot of experience we need to get to level this one up. But once you level it up, you get a chance to, you know, basically improve it as well. But uh, that is going to be it for this one. Uh, actually, before we do anything, uh, since I forgot last time, let's go and open up our quest book. I don't open up our quest book. And we took the Ashak, Ak Akashic tome uh and that gets us 50 monies a loot reward frozen thigh that it looks like a food item and a dark oak bookcase that is going to come in handy i think this is one of the ones that we can place down uh and actually put books into it so if we go like that and then we can go and take our uh materials in you and we can take that one there and then we can come and we can go and pull them out as well we can put them in this way uh you know, and just make, you know, fancy little decorations uh, in your world. So that's actually kind of cool. That's a nice little um, item that we got there. And then last but not least on that one, what do we have left? Tinker's Station. Why? Stencil table. Why did you not pick up that I had the stencil table? Let's go and pick you up. Oh, no, no, see, that's... Okay, I'm going to try this one with oak wood. There you go. Okay, so for the quest, I guess you've got to actually use oak wood. I had some spruce wood that I found uh, when I was doing some uh, earlier on, and I was using that, but I didn't realize that was going to affect that quest there. So there is... There's a little bit of a problem, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that does not make a whole lot of sense, but uh, we have got those four items now. We got our 50 monies, and last but not least, we've got a peacock feather fan. All right, that's kind of cool. I, I don't know what that does. Uh, most of these things here are, you know, very, very uh, from the Twilight Forest. Uh, it looks like it looks like it's actually maybe a weapon. Oh, here we go down here. What's this guy? Okay, it, it does. It blows them back. That is kind of cool. Not that. Oh, I. It blocks as well. Okay, that... Very, very cool. But well, let's take care of you properly. <laughs> there we go. All right, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, so that is a really cool little uh, thing there. And I've got some effect on me. I can't tell what I've got, but... Um, yeah, so that's a nifty little thing, and I think that... That was it. So that is going to be everything for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys did anything differently than I did. I would love to hear all the different ways out there there are to get those uh, quests and those advancements. And let me know, you know, what your favorite tool is, uh, what your favorite combination, especially the early stuff. We'll we'll get into the uh, higher level stuff uh, next episode. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love if you guys stop by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Uh, I thought it would push me back. <laughs> All right, goodbye, guys.